it's also possible that the output is highly similar uh, and then what is sufficiently similar under certain laws to be infringing depends on national law it's not harmonized at the level to pre-existing uh, content that is protected by copyright so in that sense what these safeguards would come into play in the way they're written this is highly reminiscent of the content moderation filtering requirements that you see in article 17 of the copyright directive and here it, it's where the the going a bit into the weeds it becomes a bit a bit more complicated why because all of this discussion on copyright content moderation and filters we've had it already or we've been having it with a, a case law from the court of justice on exactly how what types of systems and what type of permissible filtering should should be in place so as not to lead to over blocking and in that way preserve the freedom of expression of users but it's not clear whether any of those considerations really would apply uh, directly here because they apply as you mentioned to so-called online content sharing service providers so OCSSP is a terrible acronym of the copyright directive but also these rules that attempt to balance safeguard with freedom of expression and, and obligations to prevent illegal content in the Digital Services Act would not necessarily directly apply here because Gen AI tools uh, are not hosting uh, service providers or online platforms, or if ever comes the case, VLOPs, very large online platforms. So what I think is necessary here is to bolster these safeguards in a way that you actually make the connection so that there is not over, over filtering over over blocking and the problem i would say from a freedom of expression perspective is that it's very easy uh, and you see it already in the copyright discussions the tendency to propose blunt tools like keyword filtering at the prompt stage or really strong matching filtering at the actual output stage that would prevent things like for, uh, make me an image in the style of X. Well, mostly styles are not protected by copyright and many of similar outputs would be protected as I would call them, let's call them transformative content, but covered by these exceptions that you mentioned that are according to the court of justice based on freedom of expression. So I think we need to think carefully about how to bolster the language that is already in this proposal by the parliament, because there's a real risk here that voluntary solutions put or agreed by rights holders and certain of these providers would lead to an outcome whether or whether where a lot of output is filtered uh, uh, contrary to what would be our desires from the perspective of freedom of expression. So I think that is the real danger here. And although this obligation is well understood and makes reference to freedom of expression, the lack of clear direct application of all the discussions and a key that we have on the copyright side for filtering in OCSSPs or on the DSA would be valuable here. So that clarification could come, for example, with additional language or in the supporting recitals uh, by better formulation of the provision. And I think it would be welcome.